24 yard line to convert. Brunel hanging in. Going deep, and the pass is caught for a touchdown by Santana Moss. And the Washington Redskins finally get into the end zone in 2005. Dan Snyder brought the team in 99, so he has yet to see his team win a game in this stadium. You know, this is when you find out about your offense and defense. I mean, this is what good offense is when you can make plays in this situation. Good defense is when you can stop those plays. From the 30, Brunel going deep for Moss again. He makes the catch, and Santana Moss for a touchdown. Wow. And again, it's Glenn and Williams on the coverage. He beats the same two guys. Unbelievable. Just a half a minute remaining, looking that way, the pass, it's caught, touchdown to Garcon. The game's on the line, fourth and three. Romo's back. He's in trouble. Trying to escape. He's got to throw it. He does. It's incomplete. And Washington wins. Unbelievable win for the Washington Redskins behind the third straight quarter quarterback, Colt McCoy, who comes back to Texas victorious. Tied at 19, six seconds to go. Vanderjat has it blocked. Picked up by Taylor. Penalty flag on the play, and Taylor's still going. Down inside field goal range, and you look, it's Vincent who got his hands up and blocked it for Washington. It was Troy Vincent that blocked it, but I don't know that it would have mattered even if he hadn't have gotten it. There was three other hands back there that would have gotten a hand on it as well. And now you think about the fact that Sean Taylor, rather than just going... Personal foul, dressing the face mask, kicking team, number 63. 15-yard penalty added to the end of the run. The game will be extended by one untimed down. For the Redskins. Look at it!